witnessing the main event of massive consequence. The winner faces Roman Reigns for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship three weeks from tomorrow at the Royal Rumble. The matchup that was sanctioned by SmackDown General Manager Nick Aldis. All three men have had issues with the bloodline in their own separate ways. Both Orton and Styles forced to miss significant periods of time. L.A. Knight feels as though he should be the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. So Nick came up with a brilliant idea. Let's let these three men fight. Who will earn the right to be the first to challenge the Tribal Chief? That was Aldis watching from ringside. Triple threat rules apply here. First superstar to gain pinfall or submission wins. No countouts, no disqualifations. What's the strategy then well, in a match like this? If you're L.A. Knight, you are looking for the BFT. You are looking to strike quickly and take somebody down in the blink of an eye. But you've also got to be extremely cautious and wary of the RKO, a move that has put everybody down and takes a fraction of a second. You're AJ Styles. You need to avoid both of those maneuvers and stick to your veteran instincts. Styles has the best aerial game of these three athletes. Orton's got a lot of experience, but AJ Styles is right up there with him. Speaking of experience, Randy Orton now to the outside. That was the muscle from L.A. Knight. L.A. Knight putting on the brakes. Knight now just battering Randy Orton's head off the announce desk. Oh, and Knight a step ahead now. A.J. Styles joining the party. There's the motivated L.A. Oh, Knight. Wait a minute. Take your eyes off the Viper. Calculated and waiting to pounce. Look at Randy Orton just surveying the situation. And oh! AJ suffers the same fate as Knight. I don't think Randy's done yet, KP. The Viper hoisting up Knight yet again. And L.A. Knight's chances of heading to the Royal Rumble are not looking good. Orton stalking his prey. Taking his time with both Styles and Knight. Inflicting more damage for AJ Styles. Counter. Quick and nimble. And oh. Orton already announced this. Orton with a taste of his own medicine being driven spine first into our commentary table. We knew there would be carnage, perhaps not this early in the matchup, but all three men realize what is at stake, the opportunity at hand. The opportunity of a lifetime to be the one to end Roman's historic reign. Styles chucking Orton back inside the ring. It's a smart strategy by AJ Styles. LA Knight has been neutralized for the moment. AJ now turns this into a one-on-one -on -one scenario. Could be looking for the phenomenal forearm. Styles lining it up. Oh, caught by Orton! And caught a, by Orton! A veteran move by Randy Orton. Recognizing what was needed in the situation. It wasn't fancy, but it stopped AJ's forward progress. AJ's neck was open the top rope as Orton goes back for more now. Will he go there? Randy Orton! The hanging DDT! Styles was spiked, and the Viper can taste victory, inching ever closer. L.A. Knight is nowhere to be seen. Randy Orton just has to pin A.J. Styles. There's no just about that, KP. That is no easy feat. A.J. may be down, but he's not out yet. Randy wants to make absolutely sure the phenomenal one does not earn the total oh. opportunity. L.A. Knight from behind, dragging Orton outside the ring. Into the steel steps he goes. Those are the breaks, unfortunately, in a triple threat match. All perfectly legal. The stakes absolutely enormous as AJ flies to the outside. Styles, Knight, and Orton, who is going to head?